Hello guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to make a fun idea which is a hoverboard. Oh no, 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 which is a kind of like a solo wheel. So it basically looks like this. Oh, let's try the first person view. So this is the simplest vehicle I ever designed. But uh, it looks very realistic and very stable. So today I'm going to make it uh, from scratch. And uh, there is no need to have a lot of script. Just uh, no script needed. But certainly with the help of script, uh, it can function perfectly. So let's just uh, make a um, brush. Let's change it to the block. So the design can be different, but I just make a quick one. Maybe put it a bit here. So what's that? Okay, move it a bit. And uh, copy, paste. Like this. And a control T to make it a physical box. So name it, uh, let's say, solo wheel to solo two. And uh, everything is just uh, keep a default. But I prefer to make the material type glass to be something like uh, metal. It actually won't change its physical property, but just the sound. I don't like the breaking glass sound. We need to impact uh, into something. Okay, so. Then we are going to make a uh, move it a tiny bit to the grid. Make a wheel so you can see it is here. So we have to do it uh, mm, parallelly first. To make it uh, to change the block to be the cylinder and the 16. You can actually even increase it uh, with a uh, finger prop. You cannot increase it here. So you're going to make something bigger than is 32, maybe 64. Then shrink it. Okay. Then firstly control M to rotate it to the X X 90 degree. Then put it here. Yeah, and uh, shrink it, Ctrl M, scale 0 0.25, okay, and it's a bit uh, too thin, a tiny bit, maybe 2 units, I see, just see which one is, oh this is 4 units, okay, I think 4 units is a bit uh, safer, otherwise it will just uh, flip. Okay, and uh, also control T to into, into a physical box. The name you just uh, solo to dash well any name you like. No parent, and uh, the most important thing is a mass scale. You know, better to set it uh, mm, a bit uh, smaller, like 0 0.4. But I found that 0 0.6 may be the sweet spot. Then, let me see, everything seems to be a bit uh, too high above the ground, a bit lower, mm. Second. okay, so now the most important uh, make a uh, kind of an entity, it's called a PHYS underscore hinge. Okay, then put it uh, in the center of this uh, whole set. Then you need to manipulate its center it's here to kind of like this. Then the entity one is uh, solo two, entity two is uh, its well. The order doesn't matter and apply. That's it. 
also know mm, we need to control it. So firstly mm, we need to make a trigger. Close. I need to use a uh, trigger texture, but actually it doesn't matter. No, not this one. To change it to a block. So I'm only going to make a simplest one. So I won't. I won't skip a lot of explanation. You can try yourself. It uh, trigger once you can actually make it uh, in a uh, trigger underscore multiple to let it uh, retriggerable, but now it just makes a simple parent parented to the this, and uh, that's it. Clients check okay. So when the player mm, stand on this trigger. It will just get stuck onto this board. So now we need to a uh, control unit called a uh, user interface. Just type UI game underscore UI and I'll put it uh, maybe yeah, put it somewhere at the back side maybe. Yeah, like this. So we name it uh, as uh, underscore UI the name okay, then the flag is very important we need to freeze the player otherwise even if the player get parented to the the physical object it will still slide down freeze player and no need to hide the weapon then uncheck this jump deactivates we can leave this B which is you press E it will just uh, deactivate Okay, then we need to add the force, which is called as physical underscore thrust. We add the uh, first layer, left to right. Name it left. And uh, it's certainly, see, put it here, it looks better. And uh, we need to and check the apply force on the talk, talk and uh, check ignore mass and orient locally apply and the force may be set to 80 just as I tested before you can try different uh, parameters the touch object is this then the direction uh, we can try to see maybe uh, no, it's a down. So it should be the ZX and Z. Yes, this is left. And the copy paste to make a right. Same thing, just change your name to the right. And uh, the direction just add a minus, that's it. Okay, this is uh, left to right, then there is uh, forward, backward, so we add maybe, add one first, name it uh, to be forward, direction is right to the positive x-axis, and uh, flags we need to, mm, this one we need to uncheck talk, just the force, and uh, orient locally, and uh, always check ignore mass. Then the power, the force may be, let's just see what I set to this one. Okay, 120. We can make things a bit uh, actually crazy, but uh, actually make it 120. Then we need to put it uh, uh, maybe here. Position actually is not that important because there is no talk. But if there is talk, you need to be careful and copy paste to 
me go back force. Oh, I didn't even change the name. It should be backward. So this one should be forward. Mm, attach object. I forgot to set. Yeah, just double check here. Oh, and the direction is just uh, this. So. If with the script, actually all of these force can be combined to just like two entities. There will be a lot of optim optimization with the help of script. Then we'd better make another two force. We just copy paste these two. So this one it is also forward. The force we make it a bit larger. Let's see how much I to this. Okay, six forty. So and the position. This position is very important. It's a torque. Okay, I see. So this is for water force, and this, and we will put it uh, actually above the well. with the trigger, move the trigger up, S sit it uh, 640, tiny bit bigger, and uh, this is uh, attached to the object, will be the wheel. Mm. The flex, we need to check the torque and check the force, that's it. Then this one, we delete this one first, we just uh, copy paste this one, name it backward again, so the other two has two backward, two forward, but in different uh, mechanism. Uh, yeah, the direction is also the same, because we will just put it in different position, we only exploit its uh, torque, not the force. So then, we need to control the user interface, let's say add, a no, it's the wrong one, so we have the user interface, this one. So, firstly, on triggered, we need to activate this thing, activate, then everything we can see it here. And on when user on, I think it is called yeah player on. So when it's player on, then we need to set ourselves, which is called the activator, to the set parent to the name two. Okay, then we add a press the move left activate copy paste press move right activate okay and then copy paste we add a UN and deactivate and press move right right deactivate okay so we can copy the whole set, copy paste again. So left, right, left, right. So left, uh, left. We will put the forward and the right. Put it at the backward. Yeah, and then this move left is actually move forward forward and uh, press the back you see on press the forward on press the back so it's a control unit that's it and uh, we we want to play off 
maybe one second we can even add a jump function so the jump function is basically we made another physical thrust let's see we copy paste call it uh, solo to jump and uh, the direction is up touch object is this one the force may be the gravity is 800 so it should be a bit bigger than 800 add, add up the weight of the wheel so maybe this figure is approximately and just the force and we don't even need to orient locally I will explain it later so we've got another thing which is actually a keep upright we need it to stay upright so let's make uh, upright Felix keep upright add it here we don't even need even need to name it so this one we just angular limit uh, make it a bit bigger 180 then uh, target entity is this one okay so another thing is yeah, so it's it explained. Just so sometimes this one uh, tilt a tiny bit. Mm, then finally, in order to jump up, we need to use a button. Let's say we can use a right click, but I prefer use the. Yeah, we can use it right click. Another one I use the space. So here we just make it even simpler. Output add. No, 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 no. We better use the jump button because the right click there is no delay. You can spam clicking it. So we just uh, copy this user interface to name it a user UI2. Then flex, we just uh, check the jump deactivator, uh, uncheck this one, uncheck this one, okay, and uh, change the output, delete everything, add, win player off, then this will be on, activate, and we can even change it to be self, just in case we can reuse it, or we can copy paste to make uh, other Mm, vehicles activate the delay maybe 1.5 or 1 point yeah just one second and uh, add wing player off so this jump will activate and we've got to set the jump uh, time 0 0.5 is a sweet spot and uh, another thing is we need to activate the UI2 so after the user interface we add a player on we mm, point the UI2 and uh, activate that's it then we can add some other job uh, jump off functions add a player off then activate uh, which is a player model just uh, clear parent and uh, copy paste and also kill this user interface too okay so basically that's it I think it will work let's see I made it before and this is new one we are testing this new one which I jump jump on it yeah I think uh, I jump down it and let's try jump okay, let's do it again move out a bit off the board okay yeah it 
function no problem. Let's try the other person. Yeah, the other person who looks really cool. The view is more stable. But the turning is a bit awkward because uh, without the help of script, it is just uh, the physical engine has a limit. It can only be the best I can do. But uh, you can try different uh, settings. So maybe even without a script, it can still work very smooth. Oh. Okay, so you can even, yeah, you can make it a uh, racing game. You can even, let's see, with some special weapons. Thank <laughs> you. 